What's up guys, it's your boy Gamer27 and today I'll be ranking every final evolution starter Pokemon. That was a handful. There are, there are about 24 starter Pokemon including the brand new Gen 8 Pokemon. This is going to be a pretty long video so let's waste no time and get right into it. At the end of the tail, <laughs> see what I did there? Alright, all jokes aside, the, the bottom of the barrel is Superior. And I know a lot of people like Superior. They're just, for me, there's something about its design that I just don't like very much. Maybe it's because it lost all its limbs. Maybe it's because, maybe I don't like the shade of green it has. Maybe it, it I, I don't really know. Something about me just doesn't really like this design very much. I don't, I don't know. At 23rd place is Meganium. And I kind of like Meganium. I kind of do. My, my only flaw with it, and it's a really big one, is that it is way too similar to Bayleaf and Chikorita. Sure, it looks, it obviously looks like it was an evolved form, but it, it looks too similar to them. It looks way too similar, and it also sucks. It, like, it really does. It is one of the worst starters to use in competitive or in-game. In 22nd place is Delphox, and I do not dislike Delphox nearly as many other, as many other people do. I I I can see why they actually did go with this design choice, but the biggest th downfall from this is is the stupid long hair coming out of its ears. Without that, Delphox could could have been much higher up on this on this list. It could have been much better, and. Uh, and I also don't like the the red long skirt that much either. Again, I can see why they went with this design choice. It just mostly it just doesn't appeal to me. Aha, here's where the hate starts coming in. I'm not that big a fan of Typhlosion. And I'll tell you why. To me its design is kind of simple, I'd say. There's just there's just something about it that doesn't appeal to me. Maybe I'm not the big fan of badgers. I mean, it looks kind of cool. I I think there's something about its eyes that being so slanted that I just don't like very much. And it, the the colors, although interesting, are kind of don't suit this Pokemon very well. If I'm gonna say it lightly like that, I just I'm just not really a fan of the eyes, and it's also a little bland. Even though I know many people are gonna disagree with me. Number 20, we got Discount Greninja, I, I mean Inteleon. Now, Inteleon, uh, I, I'm not that big a fan of it. It do, it looks, it doesn't look that good. In game, in game I like it more. It's pers in, in game, you can, by its movement, you could tell it's got more personality than the other stars on this list. But I'm just not that big a fan of its design. We already have like a sneaky... Pokemon starter like Greninja, just kind, just kind of like a discount version of that. This is like uh, Greninja's a ninja, obviously, and and this is just like one of those stalker people that'll shoot you. I admit, Snipe Shot, its special move is really cool, but this Pokemon just design just isn't very good. At number nineteen is Primarina, and I actually kind of like Primarina quite a bit. No, I don't like it near uh, nearly as much as the other Alolan starters, but I still respect Primarina. I still think it's a real, it's a pretty good uh, final evolution. The only thing holding it back for me is that I mean, it suits Poplio and Brion well. It's just the colors don't exactly match. And the colors don't exactly relate to Primarina and Poplio. Like it turns from blue to white. Which, I'm, I usually don't have a problem with that, but it just seems odd for, for Primarina, if you, get, if you get what I mean. Now, this is the point in the video where things are getting hard, for, very hard for me to rank. And number 18 is Feralgator, and for me, Feralgator is freaking dope. He's, he's a cool lad. Like, it's an alligator that's blue, red, and yellow. So that's, so that's pretty cool. The thing is about Feraligatr is, I mean, I, I like it, but kind of like Typhlosion, its, des it's design is a little, it's, it's a little, a little bland. Not as bland as Typhlosion or Meganium, but uh, the slightest bit bland. I still think it looks really cool, however. 
And out of the Johto Fun Evolution stores, this is de definitely by far my favorite. At number 17 is Swamper. And no, he doesn't come from Shrek Swamp, but you know, he comes from a swamp, so that's, that's good. All right, so anyway, Swamper is really cool. I really like Swampert a lot. You know, it stands on four legs, which is actually kind of rare for a water-type Pokemon, believe it or not. And I just, it's got a really cool design. It's not bland at all. It, it's very detailed, and it looks freaking dope, and it looks like you could beat the heck out of anybody. So do not mess with this thing if you ever saw it in real life, which you're not because it's a fictional creature. But you know what I'm trying to say. Swamper is dope, but some of the Pokemon higher on the list are even doper. If that's even a word. I know what you're thinking. Did this, does this dude seriously put this fat pig over Swamper and all the Johto starters? And to that, I say, yes. Yes, I did. I have reasons for this. To me, Embor looks dope. Embor, Embor looks dope. I'm sorry if you don't like Embor. But I respect Embor. I think it's really cool. It's really detailed. It's just so dope. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a little fat. But the fire beard is so freaking cool. You can't deny that. It's really cool. And in the, and as you can see in the bottom left corner, he just freaking chucks Conkelder's concrete right at him. That is also very dope. And, and as you can see in the card, this thing packs a wallop. This, this Pokemon... This Embor is really dope. He's really cool. And I feel bad that people do not respect Embor as much as I do. Yes, I know. Venusaur is lower than Blastoise and Charizard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still really like Venusaur a lot. And I respect it for everything it stands for. Venusaur is menacing, dope, and really freaking cool. Like, look at that. You cannot say that thing doesn't look cool. Its design is not bland at all. And just look at it. This looks like it could beat the freaking heck out of you in a second. There's also a picture of of uh him standing on on two on two feet and having his arms just spread out like this, high fiving a blastoise. Unfortunately I don't have it here, but that's just because I couldn't find it. So yeah. Anyway, Venusaur is dope no matter how you put it. At number 14 is Cinderace. And Cinderace is great. Many people aren't fond of the Galar Final Evolutions, but I really, really do like Cinderace. There is one Galar Evolution I prefer slightly a bit more, but I still really like Cinderace. The fact that it's based off a soccer player, although I don't play soccer, I still really like the concept. And it's and it's Pyro Ball move. Oh my god. It's got such good animation, and it packs a flippin' wallop. Cinderace is such a cool and unique design for a starter evolution, or Pokemon for that matter. And just because of how detailed and unique it is, puts it at this spot on the list. At number 13, my favorite universe starter, or final evolution, is Samurott. I really, really like Sam Samurott. The fact that it's based off of a sea lion is really cool. And it's also, like, a, and it's also mixed with, like, a narwhal looks like and it uses its freaking uh, um shell as blades that is awesome it's so dope like you can't deny it this thing looks really freaking cool it's very detailed and, and it, it looks so cool and menacing which puts it at the side on the list at number 12 is Rillaboom and Rillaboom is my favorite out of the Gal Galar starters I really like the concept for Gorill for Rillaboom it, ha having the drama part of it, the Pokemon, is a really unique concept and something that no other Pokemon has. And its move, drum beating, lowers speed and does 80 damage, which is really, really cool. I love its design, having vines around its arms and its and as its hair. That's a really unique concept. And just out of the, and just out of the way, this doesn't really affect the Pokemon or anything. But when you send it out there in battle, it says Gorilla Boom, which makes it sound like Gorilla Boom, which I just find that extremely funny. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Gorilla Boom makes its spot on number 12 because of how unique, detailed, 
and, and freaking dope this thing is. Just missing out of the top 10 is Blaziken. Blaziken is so freaking cool. It's a, it's a fighting chicken. Do I have to say more? Yes? All right. How about it's a fire fighting chicken? Oh, how about that time it, it literally roundhouse kicked Charizard right in the face? How, how about it's mega evolution? How about the fact that it was a Pokemon tournament? How about the fact that it's really fast? This Pokemon is just so dope. It's so cool looking. I love the fact that how good, how great of a fighter it is. Just by looking at it, you can tell it means business and never to mess with it. For that reason alone, Blaziken gets number 11. Just making it into the top 10 is Empoleon. And I was really conflicted on whether to put Empoleon here or at number 11 and have Blaziken at number 10. But in the end, I decided to go for Empoleon. For the simple fact, I like penguins. Yeah, that was the deciding factor. Anyway, Empoleon is really, really dope. Being based off an Emperor Penguin, having a trident slap onto its face, having it be a water and steel type, which was really unique, having little claws on its flippers, and the colors just clash so well. It looks, he looks so freaking good. It, it looks so dope, menacing. And I, and I also love the one in Ash vs. Kakui too. It's fight against Mount Metal was really cool. So for those reasons, Empoleon gets number 10. Number 9 is Chestnut. And Chestnut looks freaking great. I love the colors on this thing. The colors on this thing are just great. I love green. I love red. And I love the, um, the peach color it has on it. Yeah, that's what it was. Chestnut looks so cool. I mean, it's, it's a little bit bulky because of its shield, but that's what makes it so cool. It can use its freaking back as a shield with spikes, which is honestly very dope. This, this thing just looks so intimidating, so cool, and I love it. Chestnut's a great grass starter and all, but I, but I like Sceptile just a bit more. Sceptile is so cool. It is so freaking dope. It could use its, its uh, leaf blade it can use its leaves as a blade. It's very fast, very sneaky, strong as all can be, and it looks so cool. It looks so cool. It's so sneaky. Ashes has a branch in his mouth, and it took out a dark rye. Sceptile's colors clash so well. They're just so good. I really like Sceptile a lot. And those are the reasons why I put it slightly above Chestnut, because it looks slightly more intimidating, and I because of how sneaky it is, and I like its design a lot. At number seven is the big turtle boy, Blastoise. And sh and oh my gosh, Blastoise is a freaking blast to use in game. I used it in Pokemon, um, I think it was X, and I really, really liked it. It was a freaking beast. Aside from that, Blastoise's design is Excellent. I really really love Blastoise's design. It is so cool. A turtle that has cannons on his back and shoots water. That is dope just by hearing it. But its design is even cooler than it's than it's con than it sounds like. It is so freaking cool. I just love it so much. Yeah, again, it's a little fat, but what turtle isn't? Blastoise is so freaking cool because it's got cannons on his back. That's why it goes on number seven. Number six is our other big turtle boy, Torterra. I like Torterra slightly more because I think its design is a slight bit better. Only because it has a freaking ecosystem on his back. Yeah, a Pokemon has a freaking ecosystem on his back. That is automatically like a top 10 quality right there. Torterra is so cool. It is so dope. And it's so strong. Look, just look at it. It's literally strangling Gliscor. That is so freaking cool. Just the fact that it has an ecosystem on its back, how great of a design it is, and the, all the great details on it easily makes it number six on the list. Number five is Mr. Overrated here. And I was just joking about that. I really do like Charizard a whole lot. I agree, it might be slightly overrated, but I really like Charizard. 
a, it's a freaking fire dragon. Well, it's not really a dragon. It's just a flying... I mean, it looks like a dragon, okay? So I think that's good enough. Charizard is just so, so cool. You cannot deny that this thing looks good. It, its design might be the, like the tiniest, tiniest, tiny bit basic, but that, that's... I can completely ignore that because Char Charizard is so, so cool. It spits fire out of its mouth. It can slash its opponent with wings. You can fly on it, well, aside from the original Gen 1 games for whatever reason. But Charizard looks so, so awesome and dope. That's why it's easily fifth place on the list. At number four is Decidueye. And oh my god, Decidueye is great. I love how much detail and the design that went into Decidueye. I love that it's also a grass and ghost type, which is a really unique typing. I Decidueye's face just looks so great. Like, like the orange and, and the black for his face perfectly represent how sneaky this guy is. And the fact that he's based off of an archer and can shoot frick, frickin' um, feathers as... As an arrow is so cool. And I also love all the colors it's got for him too. I also love the um uh, rivalry that that Ashes Rowlet and how and how Decidueye had. That was pretty cool. And Decidueye also made it in the Pokemon tournament. So that's always cool too. Overall, Decidueye is excellently designed, has great detail, is a really unique concept, and is just overall very, very great. And excellent. At number three is the infinitely times better than Simi Seer, because screw that thing. And Fruity is so dope. It is slick as hell. It is so freaking cool. It's a fire fighting monkey. Take that in. A fire monkey. Just that is so cool. The the details and design of this thing are amazing. It's got fire for hair. It's strong as all can be. And the fight it had with Paul's Electivire was incredible. Easily one of the best Pokemon battles to ever exist in the anime. So, this Pokemon is just so cool. All the design, the colors, and just the, un the uniqueness of having a fire fighting monkey. It's just so cool. You cannot deny that this thing is not cool. Because it freaking is. It's a fire fighting monkey. I know I said that like five times, but still, it is a fire fighting monkey. That alone makes easily makes it one of the top three best final evolutions. And number two is Incineroar, and Incineroar is freaking dope. It's a wrestling cat. It's not a fighting type. It's a dark type, so you can't complain about another fire fighting type. It looks so cool. It's got a fire belt. Its colors match perfectly with what its type is. It's so awesome, and the fight between Kakui's Incineroar and Ash's Toracat was incredible. But honestly, if I'm going to be honest, one of the, the biggest factors that makes Incineroar this high on the list is because it's in Smash. Alright, I know Charizard's in Smash too, but I just like Incineroar's design more. Like, a lot more detail went into Incineroar than Charizard's. And yeah, yeah, yeah. My number one um, choice on this list is in Smash 2, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But still, Incineroar is my second favorite starter final evolution. Because it's in Smash, its design is dope. It's a wrestling cat. It's not a fire fighting type. And its design is freaking godlike. At number one is Greninja. Ash Greninja. And Satoshi Gekoga which is Ash Greninja, or just regular Gekoga for Greninja, but it doesn't matter. Greninja is the best by far. It is so cool. It's a freaking water, it's a freaking water frog ninja with a long tongue. Do I have to say more? A water frog ninja. This is the coolest, one of the coolest Pokemon that has ever been created. It is one of the best and it will forever be. This thing is so cool. It can, it can disappear and then reappear. It is so cool and it is so strong. When it's in Ash Greninja or just regular Greninja. Greninja is freaking dope. It's the best designed Pokemon out of all the final evolution starters. Which means it is here at number one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. But before I end... 
the video right here, I want to talk about the Christmas special. Yes, I am planning a very special video for all of you on Christmas Day. You might be wondering, isn't that a waste of your time? First off, no, because I'm working on it now. And, and second, it's my thanks to all of you for watching my content, being subscribers, and, and giving me so much support on this channel. This is a special thank you from the bottom of my heart. But what will this Christmas special be exactly? You'll just have to wait until later for some more news on it. Until then, hope you guys are excited for this Christmas special. Thank you for watching. Now, see you guys soon.